Um, but given with what I was going through with the military, I had already started researching everything about breast cancer. I had a friend who worked at the hospital who read the results before she called me and told me, he's like, yeah, it is, it is cancer. So um, I didn't have time though to dwell on it. I didn't have time to be upset, I didn't have time to cry, I didn't have time to be scared or worried. I was in the process of moving. And um, when you're, when I came, you come home from deployment, normally you have a six month stabilization period, you know, 90 days to six months to where you don't have to go and do anything. But because I had a previous I issue with um, uh, and, uh, being assaulted by someone he was getting out of prison so it was within it was my best within my best interest to move before he got out so i got my results in april and came home from blackley with my daughter and may 1st i started packing my house and moved across the country they wanted me to stay at um, in north carolina and do my treatment but i couldn't imagine not having my daughter with me or putting my daughter in, in a situation that potentially could be um, dangerous so we moved and I got to Fort Lewis, Washington in May, May 15th. And May 17th, I was in the hospital getting my port placed for so I could start chemo immediately. I did my tumor board and everything. And I fought with them a little bit because I had done my own research and I already knew what I was getting myself into. And I knew I was going to be going through this alone um, with just my daughter. So I went in there guns blazing about what I wanted. Um, the biggest thing I could say that people need to understand is, is doctors have a set protocol to do everything, and yeah, they do. They are up on a lot of the research, but when it comes to cancer, it's your body waging war against your body. So the the only way to fight that is to gain some sort of control. And for me, having that that knowledge and that education on what I was about to embark on kind of made me feel like I had some sort of control over something that was very uncontrollable. So I uh, went into treatment and um, my daughter was spending some time with her dad for the summer so I started the worst part of it without her there and but I didn't know anyone I didn't reach out I didn't ask for help I just kind of went through it alone because I felt like you know everybody whenever I'd mention it to anyone that I thought was close to me they say oh you're okay you got this you know you got this and I'm like no this is cancer it's not you got this I shouldn't be just a pat on my back and saying you know 